Alright, so today we're gonna quickly break down the new global producers letter, which just came out about 15 minutes ago, and this time it's in the form of a video presented by our global producer, Koto, who a lot of people seem to be very big fans of for various reasons. And uh, she basically had three things to tell us about in this video. Number one, she went through some details about this upcoming Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour, which is a online livestream event that's happening between the 18th and the 19th of this month. And uh, last year, Dokkan was actually not a part of this event, but we will be this year and will be featured in two main ways. Um, the first way is a Dokkan Data 22, a history of Dokkan battle in numbers thing, which I don't completely understand. Maybe it's just like a tribute to Dokkan and they'll go through, um, you know, the player numbers and the uh, sales numbers. I don't really know exactly. It says Dokkan history in numbers. So uh, take that as you will. But the second thing is a little bit more interesting to me. And that's this Dokkan quiz challenge where we'll be able to answer questions in real time about Dokkan and uh, receive rewards like Dragonstones and maybe some other stuff for getting questions correct. So uh, yeah, if you guys are interested in tuning into this battle hour thing, once again, it's starting on the 18th and will last until the 19th. Okay, so that's the first thing. Now, number two is a global exclusive thing, which as you guys know, I always love. And uh, she talked about the new revamped beginners pack. And in this pack, there will be 50 dragon stones, which is already nice. And then also this new power search ticket. So um, when we saw this in the news and the data download as well, a lot of people were kind of confused about exactly what we could get with this ticket. But now we know because she gave us a list right here. Uh, here we go. Okay, so according to this video, there are going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 characters they can choose from with this ticket. And from this list, I would say most people should go with either Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta or the Fizz uh, Final Form Angel Frieza or this Int Broly. Obviously, you know, some of these other units can also be useful and do good things, but um, these would be the three best, in my opinion. And overall, just a really good selection, guys. I mean, for a beginner's pack, for, you know, a ticket that anybody can get as soon as they start the game, um, it is quite a good selection. And, okay, so these three are the best units, the Gogeta, the Frieza, and the Broly. But as far as the best leader, um, you might maybe want to consider the Trunks, because he is a super type lead, and it's easy to build a super type team, right? So that's definitely not a bad option either. Um, this guy is an extreme lead, so if you want to build an extreme team, he's also a good leader for that. But uh, otherwise, you know, if you have like a good amount of these units, then I would go between, once again, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, the Frieza, or the Broly. And we also are going to be getting a global exclusive banner, this Power Surge Dokkan Festival, which we also saw in the news. And um, there are going to be eight featured units on this banner. We got the Super Saiyan 4 Full Power Goku, the Transforming Goku, the AGL Metal Cooler, the Int Kid Goku, the 5th Anniversary LRs, the uh, STR Gogeta, and the uh, Tech Gogeta. Or sorry, no, uh, STR Gogeta and Tech Vegito. And also this uh, Int Super Saiyan 2 Angel Goku and the Tech um, Transforming Gohan. Now, from this list, easily, in my opinion, the Tech Gohan is the best unit. And then number two would be the Goku here with an Extreme C Awakening. And uh, obviously, you know, these 5th Anniversary LRs are still quite good. They still can hit very hard. And uh, over, you know, even though they haven't aged the best over the past couple of years, um, I still say they're good units. But with that said, 
I would not recommend people to summon on this banner because the 5th anniversary LRs will be available with the 7th anniversary Tool Dokkan Fest and that's happening in less than 5 months from now so if you guys can hold out for a bit then I would say just wait for the 7th anniversary to get a chance to get your hands on these guys and you know obviously these other guys will be featured on other banners too so I just don't feel like it's really worth it but obviously it's up to you it's your stones totally your call just not something I would tell people to summon on um, with that said there will be discounts she said that there's gonna be a one-time one round of discounts on the banner so I'm thinking it's either gonna be like a 3 plus 1 kind of deal or Maybe like each multi will be discounted for the first four, or first three rather, or maybe like the fourth multi will be a guaranteed featured unit. I can't really say, but she did say there will be discounts. So even with the discounts, I still don't recommend it, but but you could probably justify at least doing the uh, discounts uh, before you stop summoning, right? So uh, there's the banner, not bad by any means. The tech Gohan's very, very good. The AGL Goku, really, really good. And, uh, you know, even this this Goku right here is still very solid. These guys are still good. So, yeah, good banner. And also, once again, global exclusive. That's important. Global exclusive banner. Okay, and after that, um, the last thing she mentioned was uh, there's going to be a new survey. A new survey asking us various questions like, what are your thoughts about high difficulty events? And I would say I want more high difficulty events, but obviously that's my opinion. Um, newer players might have opposite opinions, you know, maybe they want easier events. But for me personally, I do want more challenging things. So uh, I would answer that. And there's also other questions like, what is your expectation for the friend function? Um, some interesting options here, actually. I would like to play against friends for sure. That'd be great. Uh, team up team up with friends that also sounds good interact with friends that sounds great and uh, I am satisfied with the current function no need for changes okay nobody choose this one nobody choose this one I will find you and I will slap you if you choose D okay so <laughs> um, what else do we have here uh, what is the reason why you want to include a character on your team uh, what is your expectation for the international version in the future um Ooh, implementing characters at the same time as the Japanese version. That would be pretty good. And what is your expectation for the producer's letter? Uh, and that is pretty much it. So those are just some examples for questions that we can expect to see in the survey. Just like usual, we're going to be getting a link in our uh, news in-game. And you can click on the link, complete the survey, and get some free dragon stones out of that. So uh, that's it guys, that was the producer's letter. I really like this video format, hopefully they keep doing this. Obviously people love Koto, so she's always welcome. And uh, that was the producer's letter for uh, this month. Um, let me know in the comments down below guys what you think about it. Were you hoping for more stuff or are you satisfied with what we got here i mean i i'm i'm pretty happy with this beginner's ticket here i'm definitely gonna buy it obviously and i think i still need a dupe for maybe gotenks oh and also janemba i think everybody else is done but i do need dupes for gotenks and janemba so yeah i'll buy this ticket the 50 stones will be nice we don't know the price that's definitely one important um, point she left out in this video. We don't know how much it costs. I'm hoping it's under $10 because I think that's what the previous beginner's ticket was. And for $10, the ticket and the, the stones would be an insane deal. But uh, we'll have to see, obviously. So um, that's it, guys. That is the video. That is the producer's letter. Shout out to Koto. She's awesome. Um, you know, like all... Joking aside, you know, in all seriousness, she does a great job with these, so uh, hopefully she sticks around. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger. 
with Tiger, Uppercut Media, signing out.